Hey guys, uh, another video about Blue Iris. Uh, this is going to be really quick. I'm just going to show you the compatible camera list that you'll see in here. But don't let this fool you because if your camera is not listed, um, it does find a compatible driver for it. So it pretty much uses any camera. I haven't found a camera that doesn't work with it yet. Um, there's network cameras that you can pick and even USB cameras. Of course, if, it, if you're using a USB camera, it's probably going to be easier uh, to find something because when you plug a USB into your computer, you know, it already has the drivers. It puts its drivers in there. So we're just going to do IP. Um, if you don't know or can't find it, you can put in the IP address here. Put in your username and password that you... Um, use to log in so just type in those two and then you click find and inspect and as long as your username and password are correct it should find a compatible driver that will work with the camera and I use generic for a couple of my cameras um, uh, for instance Amcrest is in here um, right here this is the one I have the HD Pro but I don't use this one because if I use it when I talk to my um, phone through using my app to talk to the camera if I use this driver the sound goes to the camera because this knows that the camera has a speaker on it but if I use generic then it doesn't know that the camera has a speaker and the sound comes through the computer speakers which you can hear throughout the whole house so it's perfect so that's one of the reasons I use the generic but I can still pan and tilt the camera um, I can pretty much do everything um, that I normally can. So here is the list. I'll skim down through, okay? And you can, you know, as I'm talking, you can see if you see any of your cameras in here. I'm sorry, there's really no way for me to take all these and just put them in, um, you know, like the description or whatever. Uh, it'd be there all day. Um, let's see what else. Uh, another reason to use uh, the Blue Iris is that you can use any camera basically. Uh, you're not stuck with a few types of cameras that work with your hardware, your DVR system, whatever they call those things. Um, you know, once the software gets out of date, you know, they don't update it. Blue Iris, they, they keep updating all the time. Um, Blue Iris can actually you can use like a, I think it's called C level uh, devices basically it's a either Ethernet device or USB device you plug it in and you can hook up motion sensors from like alarm systems to it so instead of using the motion through the camera software or through the blue iris which just basically detects pixels moving you can use a real live heat motion sensor and put it out there and you plug it in and then you tell Blue Iris, hey, when motion is detected on this motion sensor, trigger this camera and this camera and this camera. And it works. It works great. You can even have output so Blue Iris can trigger like a siren in the house. Um, I don't think you can do stuff like that with a DVR system. Um, and for 50 bucks, the software is well worth it. You just need a nice computer. I have um, I have an i7 and right now I'm running at down here if you look at a CPU 40 49 percent but I'm also recording this video if I shut it down I'll probably drop down to maybe 20 percent at most is what blue iris is sucking up so anyways there is the list um, and like I said you don't always have to use the camera driver you can use a generic which I done all the time with a couple of different cameras um, it you know does pan tilt uh, doesn't care if it's a PoE um, but I can say if you certain cameras if you if you like like Amcrest check out Amcrest uh, if you haven't heard from them, check them out they're basically like Foscam um, but cheaper price I think the quality and in, in the build is a little bit better in those cameras uh, other than that I don't have a favor I'm still playing around with cameras to see if I like um, if you have a camera that you really like um, make a video of it 
and um, you know send me the link I'd, I'd like to review all sorts of cameras especially between fifty dollars to two hundred dollars you know in that price range so I hope this helps you guys um, so this is the compatibility basically list of the cameras all right good luck see ya